Teddy Crumpy, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, yeah, well, I bet it looks like I'm a five-year-old. It kind of does. I'm like you're on a swing. Can I get on? Are you on a swing? Can I play? Yeah. Can I come out and play? Come on a swing. Can I come out and play? They got jokes. Okay. Well, I look small because I am doing something that I have never done in my entire life. And I got to tell you, I am like a five-year-old. This is really cool. I am climbing into a steam engine. I'm a little bit older than some of our viewers. I've only seen him on TV or in history books. But this is the real deal. And I'm hanging out with Zach and his crew this morning. Zach, thank you so much Thanks for, for allowing me to sit here. I'm just listening to you guys talk. Uh, describe a living history lesson. That's what we're sitting in, right? We are in the cab of the Nickel Plate 765. This yeah. is a steam locomotive built in Lima, Ohio in 1944. Okay. It was built for the nickel plate. The nickel plate was headquartered here in downtown Cleveland, Terminal Tower. How about that? Where their headquarters were. Okay. So, what you're sitting in here is the cab of the locomotive. You're mm -hmm. in the engineer's seat. Over to the left here is Chuck. He's sitting in the fireman's seat. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning. Good All righty. Good to have you guys. The boiler here inside of the firebox. You'll see the fire in there. There it is. The fire is surrounded inside in that steel box by water. Okay. The water is heated by the fire, turns into steam, mm -hmm. it goes through a series of pipes down to the pistons, and turns those big wheels that you've seen earlier. That's what propels us down the railroad. Those wheels that are taller than I am, yep. which is pretty amazing. Almost 70 inches tall. How we were talking earlier, how with the, at full capacity, how much could this engine pull? This engine was designed to run on level track at 70 mile an hour with a 3,000 ton train behind it. Wow. And. At, this, at the time, this was the epitome of train technology. Chuck was mentioning over 100 years of train engineering, 1944. This is it. Yep. Steam technology really didn't progress much past World War II because diesels were being developed. Railroads knew that they were the future, and the builders really stopped developing steam. Uh -huh. So what you see here is pretty much the most advanced steam technology for locomotives that we had in the United States. And how do you guys figure out how to maintain something that was built in, 19, in the 1940s? Fortunately, some of our older crew members here got to actually learn from guys who did this back in the day every day. Wow. And they passed it on to the younger generation, and we continue to pass it on as well. And steam engine. Um, how many gallons of water? You, you, very interesting. The tender behind us holds 22,000 gallons of water and 22 tons We're looking of at the coal right now. Yeah. yeah. But so. it holds 22,000 gallons. 22,000 gallons of water. How long would that take us if we were going from point A to point B? It really depends on how many cars are behind you. Yeah. But for reference, we came over from Fort Wayne, Indiana the other day, yeah. and we used about 25,000 gallons of water the whole way. And I get to put some coal yep. in this bad boy, just like I've seen in the movies. Nice little scoop right there. That coal's heavier than you think, folks. <laughs> and this just throw it right in there. Look at that. Ready to go. Oh, my goodness. I'm a kid in the candy store, but I'm not going to eat that coal. When we come back, lots to show you guys. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you, you got to bring the kids out. Kicking it with Kenny. Stay with us.